I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to make coins on a low budget on FIFA 22. But before we jump into that, I need to show you the easiest way for you to get some coins. If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com and use code CHIEF for 6% off at checkout. Now let's go ahead and jump right into this video. All right, boys, so jumping into this video again, this is going to be a very, very low budget method for those of you looking to build your coins up and it's super simple, super easy. So as we're getting into this, make sure that you guys do please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. So what we're going to be working with trading with here today is rare bronze cards. Now, due to all the recent upgrades and stuff that are out right now, these are slightly up in price. If we take a look at them, these rare bronzes right now, they'll basically insta sell for 250, as you can see, and they'll always sell for 300 coins as well. So we're going to want to be selling these for 300 coins a piece every single rare bronze we get. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try and win these cards on bid. So preferably, you're going to want to win these rare bronzes on bid for 150. So what you're going to do is you're going to come in here and at the beginning of this, there's going to be a lot of cards here that already have bids on them. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to flick ahead a few pages here to the point where there's not as many bids on these cards and you'll just start bidding 150 a piece on every single card here. Now, sometimes you're going to get outbid. It obviously depends on how many people are doing this method. So you can actually up it to 200 coins as well, because at this price that we're trading at, you're really not losing many coins on tax. So it's not that big of a deal. So when these are selling at 300, preferably pick them up at 150. You can do 200 as well. So let's talk about how quickly this profit comes in and what we're looking at. So let's say we buy cards for 150 and we sell them for 300. Selling at 300, we're going to lose 15 on tax. So we're making 135 coins a card here. Now, let's just say for argument's sake, you can win five cards a minute. You can win and sell five cards. That means every single minute, we're going to make 675 coins, which if you do that for an hour, that is 40,000 coins here. So it is pretty surprising how much profit you can get out of a simple method like this, but it is a ton. Now, let's say you do 200 on every card you're going to make 300 times 0 0.95 minus 200. You're going to be making 85 coins on tax rather than 135. So if you can then, let's say you pick up eight cards a minute, because if you're bidding higher, you're going to be able to get more cards. Pick up eight cards a minute. That's going to be 680 coins a minute times 60. That is also 40K an hour. So it, you can do it either way, really, depending on how much you bid. And you can even list these cards higher. You could list, list these for 350, 400, and chances are they will sell to lazy buyers. But for me personally, I try to pick these up at 150 and list them all for 300. So let's see how many cards I've got here. I've listed up three there, and then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I could have just done the 12 items plus three. But. We got 15 cards, we're looking at 135 coins a card after tax. We're looking at 2,000 coins profit just off of what you've seen here. Now, some of those cards I won before the video real quick just to show you, but you get the point here. How quickly this profit rolls in really is shocking. Now, you can also include sniping in this if you want. It's really not worth it, but I want to show you sniping just to show you it, I guess. But bidding is really going to be your best friend when it comes to something like this. And obviously, you can't snipe cards for 150. The lowest they go is 200. So you're really only going to be picking those up. But I am interested. I've never done sniping with it. So I'm interested to see how many cards really get listed up here. So we're going to give that a look. So we'll get all these listed up. And then I prefer to snipe from the squad menu. It's a lot easier. So if you just go squad here and then flip over to the transfer market, I want to see how quickly these cards pop up for 200. Because if you were to get a card like every five seconds, I suppose it would be worth it. So if we do that, I mean, like we already got one, so it's doable. You're going to get cards like that's 85 coins right there. But honestly, I just think bidding is much better and it's a lot easier to do. You can just sit there and bid. You can watch a show, watch another video, watch me stream, which will be live when you're watching this. So jump over to Twitch, all that good stuff. So you can I just find bidding to be a lot easier, a lot more relaxing. But as you can see, you're able to snipe cards and pick them up as well. So really do what you prefer and what's working best for you at the time. And again, this is a method that if there is too many people on it, it's going to be difficult. So if it's not working at the time, obviously you just move to another method. That's why we give you guys so many different methods here. 
But guys, that is going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.